Ah, wonderful. The freaking thing did that. This computer stopped being a bitch. Hang on. If that would go away, please. Oh, for f There we go. Something like that. Now, today, I want to talk to you people about the going to the dentist. Now, all you young ones there are like, nah, I don't like that. To be fair, for us grown-ups, I know about this, by the way, don't worry about it. It's not much more fun. Especially when they tell you your gums are infected, even though they look just fine. Uh, especially with the, like, yeah, based on the single fact that they just poked your gums with a needle and they're bleeding. Yeah, you try and make sense of that. I'm just going to give you a moment to like sort of make sense of that piece of information there. And uh, we'll move on in the meanwhile. Okay, if I'm not... Oh, actually, we'll move on once you're done thinking about that. Pause the video and think, because we'll be moving on now. Okay, so... That's what happened to me today. I went down to the dentist to get a just a standard checkup, and my teeth are a little bit yellow. We can all see that. My teeth are a bit yellow. They're a bit discolored. Everybody can see that. They're a little bit worn down. But my la the last dentist I had when I went down there, my gums have never looked anything different to what they do now. They look the same when I was a kid. One of these has swelled up a little bit, but it's fully healthy tissue. There's no infection, there's nothing, nada, finito. If there had been an infection, there would be pus forming. There, there would be, this thing would be leaking goo around it, but it's not. Uh, anyway, so what I'm getting at here is that I went down to the dentist. Obviously, this has to do with infected gums. This woman, just checking out my, checking my teeth, you know, like normal, poking around with that needle on your teeth to make sure they're all solid, not mushy. Uh, begin looking for fungus infections like that and rotted out teeth and then she begins checking my gums this is normally done yes but what is the tool she's using she's not using one of those tiny little rounded pieces normally like when they're checking when you're testing your teeth she, you use a, they use a little hook sort of deal and normally they put that away and they grab a different part piece that is basically at the same diameter, but it's rounded on the tip. It's a rounded, fairly thin, but rounded, smooth, polished tip. Simply so they can lift the gum and see if there's any rot or any infections or anything. What does she do? She picks out something that's meant to scrape teeth with. How do I know? Because it's a flat, thin, sharp piece of metal. How can I make all that out? Not difficult when the thing's about yay far from your eye. Yeah, moved it over my face, you know. So, um, begins checking my gums. Starts poking holes everywhere. Seemingly intending to make, make my gums bleed. And uh, after she's done with this, I'd never experienced this much discomfort when they start messing with your gums. And the guy that, and the people that normally do this, they use way more aggressive tools than that. I mean, that thing didn't look like it was actually going to be any sort of big deal. I mean, I once once one of the one of the dentists I had, he just simply used that that same sharp point. I didn't feel a thing. No, I was not on anesthesia. I always go to my dentist visits completely without anesthesia. It's just when there's like they're gonna work on a tooth or something, then there's like local anesthesia, you know. You <laughs> can't just flick out red plastic but you know how it is. Anyway, so that guy, he was incredibly skilled actually. He used, he somehow managed to bend that sort of, he somehow angled it so it didn't, so it didn't actually cut open the tissue. It just lifted it slightly. Really cool method. This bitch didn't know what she was doing. She was using a tool that was meant for working with soft tissue, I believe, and still managed to cut me open like a freaking rat. How? I don't know, I think she was angling that thing wrong, because that was a flat piece, and fairly thin, sure, but 
It was sharp, but I mean, it has to be somewhat sharp to get under there. But still, it's like... How much of an amateur can, do you have to be in order to manage to cut a hole in the gum every single fucking time you lift? I'm not joking. She managed to cut a hole in every in the gums on every single tooth on both sides, both in and out. Not even I'm that clumsy. What the fuck was she doing there? Now, keep in mind, it's not that I'm complaining about the medical services hole. I'm complaining about individuals here. Individuals who are not who are not properly trained for their line of work. Now, we always think of doctors and dentists as these people that have been professionally trained for years and years that know what they're doing, they come out with quite a bit of experience, uh, or at least a lot of... They've, they've, they've done all the procedures, even if it's on dummies, they still do all the procedures, they still practice all the procedures in such a way that they can actually do their job without causing more, without causing more damage than they're trying to fix. This woman, it's like, um, it felt like she was the person that was at the bottom of her class, like literally. You know how there's always that one person in the class that just barely scrapes by all the tests, all the practice, all the, all everything, just barely scrapes that by, barely manages to scrape, scrape through school, you know, eight years, still just barely manages, and then ends up killing six patients. That kind of doctor is not a good one to have. And imagine I'm such a dentist. I would not want her to start drilling my teeth. If I come in with a hole and she is there again, I will demand having any other dentist. I've had several female dentists. No issues before. What was up with this woman? I've had a dentist who just got out of med school. Seriously. She just got out of school, literally like two days before my, before I showed up. I was her first patient, her first live patient. So, well, what happened? Nothing. She drilled out a cavity, that's it. No, wait, she didn't drill out a cavity. Well, no, it was just a standard examination, just like this time. How did... How could she manage this, but this this woman today, that had obviously been doing this for a while, how could she fuck this up? And the thing was, I could feel her literally forcing that thing, the thing into my gums, and then she claimed that because my gums are bleeding easily, my gums are infected. Little lady, when I can feel the force of that thing being applied to my jaw? No, it's not a thing. So, yeah, be careful out there, if you're a dentist. Otherwise, be wary of the dentist that just barely passed the tests. Bye.